All right, YouTube. <laughs> I I lied. I lied. I'm a filthy, filthy liar. I said that the last video would be the last time I make content on BDO. The last time I speak on BDO. And when I went to bed that night, I truly did believe that. I never ever thought that I'd have somebody this big pause pause never thought i'd have somebody like blue squadron react to the fucking video and when i heard that he reacted i actually felt a bit of doom and gloom because i knew i knew he had no idea what was going on so there was no way in hell that it was going to be good it's essentially 14 minutes of me talking and he doesn't give a fuck. So why would it be good? Right? So I was going to let it slide because you know, why the fuck should I care? Right? If he doesn't know what he's talking about, but he gets disrespectful. Um, that being said, this is just like, why are you even upset? Oh my God. They dropped with the intention of fucking nameless out of there. Yeah, dude. That's PvP. Oh God! Be happy that you no! have competition and that you hate no! each other. No, I'm not usually one to get involved in some YouTube drama, but I'll be damned if I let <laughs> take shots on me and then give me some bullshit like this. Was what he said really that bad? No, he said worse things on the stream. I don't know why I picked that. I'm retarded. But with that being said, <laughs> Blue, man. Blue. You were not my target audience. So you did not get any context. Don't blame that on me. Again, you weren't the target audience. Why would I give you context? Why would I give people who are completely uninvolved the context? It was for the people who already know what's going on for the people that are in the fight. The context is the fight itself, the fight that you didn't watch. The context is the fights before this, you know, months ago, the fights is years ago that all of that is the context for my video. The people who know knows you don't fucking need to know. You're not even a PC player on BDO for the most part anymore. Why the fuck would you need to know the context? So you can say, I explained things bad or whatever the fuck you said in your stream to where like you kind of pinned it on me but what i will say it's not your fault that you saw that video it's your fault that you reacted to it i mean there's if we want to say that's a fault but you didn't convince yourself to watch that people convinced you at the very end of your rant or reaction to my rant i should say you let it be known that the people who sent you the video basically we're telling you to react and to get angry and all this other bullshit or whatever the fuck so i don't know what they wanted you to be angry at maybe they wanted you to be angry at the console community and they wanted you to feel like i was a victim or maybe they wanted you to be mad at me and i think it's the latter i think that the people who sent you that and didn't tell you anything they just made you jump right into it knowing how you are because they're fans of yours i think that's what the goal was now if for whatever reason you are somebody that supports me and you sent him this video you support me through my ideology for bdo or you fought with me before or you're in our alliance and you, for whatever reason you thought i was spitting so great that i sound so crazy when i just said it like that you thought i was spitting facts so you thought to send a video to blue squadron who again is uninitiated he doesn't know what the fuck is going on he just knows the console's in a shitty ass spot fuck you from the bottom of my heart because you obviously did not really get the point of my video and now you're getting it to people who do not need to see it and I'm not mad that Squadron saw the video. I'm not, again, I'm not mad that he fucking reacted to the video. Uh, I'm mad that I got misconstrued so poorly. Like, it was, it was terrible. And it's a mixture of whoever sent him the video's fault. And then it's a mixture of his fault as well. Now, if you hate me, then W move.
I mean, that's just another W move on a long list of W moves of all of the people who dislike sound and dislike me, Kai. Uh, you guys are W propaganda experts. Like, you you guys know what the fuck you're doing. Politicians, right? And that's kind of what a lot of that video was about was the politics and how it's bad. And Blue thinks that we just simply got out politicked, and that's what it was. And so I'm pissed off about it, and so I quit, even though I've taken L's for years. But yeah, this, this was the one that made me quit. As if Harsha has never done anything worse than this ever. But, <laughs> oh, I just know niggas who's watching this, that they know what the fuck going on and just laughing at this stupid shit. Let me go ahead and just play a kind of a summary in his own words. I'm going to play his video. I'm going to play the, all the key parts back to back. I'm not going to respond to each and every key part. I'm going to let it summarize itself. And then I'm going to react to it after it's all done. And then that's going to be the end of the video. I don't want this to be an hour long video um, because if he does react to it, I have to give him a fair shot to react to it. And if I was in his position, I'm not reacting to an hour long fucking video about BDO fucking console. Like, like let's be real. So I'm going uh, to get this down to 20 minutes because in all reality, uh, my friend here literally says the shit that could be shut down by just a few statements anyways so it doesn't need to be that crazy the last video was 14 minutes he stretched that to an hour i'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes so everybody could go to bed on time so let's go ahead and get going p.s i'm not going to speed up my voice that way you guys can keep up all right so apparently um Console just lost all of its major siege guilds. Arsha created solely with the intent of getting content away from Sacred. That's soon. Arsha's the peeps in red. Okay, I was like, who the fuck is Arsha? Is a server? How the hell is Arsha DMing you? Um, I'm gonna be honest. Stop pretending like this is some fucking abnormal thing to have some major fucking guild come drop on your fight and ruin it okay dumbass i'm gonna explain this to you like when you make a fucking drama video and you expect people to watch it you have to list out like you you gotta list out exactly what the fuck is going on wrong with this nameless going to tnl as losers good fights sacred good fights guys good fights ha ha good fights good fights what, what's wrong what's wrong with this bro like there's literally like to, okay to the average viewer, there is literally nothing wrong with this chat. I missed the chat after Nameless died. This was after we died. Yeah, bro, they're just saying good fights and you're fucking mad. That sounds like a you problem. I mean, it just sounds like you're, you're babies. When you show, when, you when you're trying to tell, when you're trying to talk about Sacred and how shitty they are, as a third party, you've kind of painted yourself as a pussy here. Yeah, he doesn't, they don't explain what the fight is or what the team is. You're just supposed to, to you're just supposed to know who the fuck Sound is, who Sacred are, who Arsha is, all the backstory. Like, and again, this was sent to me by like eight console members sent this to me. And like, you guys expect me and everyone to know who all these fucking guilds are. None of us know who these fucking people are. You didn't explain the situation. You just look like pussies. I'm just being honest. Like, that, that's what it looks like. You guys, you guys be looking like pussies right now. Here's the issue with them coming together. They didn't do it for the sake of competition. Sacred and Arsha. Yeah, but you got competition. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what their intentions were, man. You look, you're having a good time, bro. Who cares? Um, that being said, this is just like, why are you even upset? Oh my god, they dropped with the intention of fucking nameless out of there. Yeah, dude. That's PvP. Be happy that you have competition and that you hate each other. Do every fucking detail, man, but oh, I'm yapping, man. Why can people with guilds who Vertex. are so focused on punching down? Sacred has no choice but to punch down. Who are they punching up to? God? They, they have nobody to punch up to. So they have no choice but to fight. Oh my god, we just compared Sacred to God. Holy shit, consoles lost. Retarded, it's absolutely dumb. If you're it is dumb, but that's how much they hate Nameless. So it sounds like to me, and this is again a third party because this dude didn't explain the fight or any context at all. Um, it sounds like it was Arsha Sacred versus the rest of them, and they barely lost, and now he's really upset. Wrong. Now that sounds dead, you always say that. Well, Sacred's the strongest guild on your server. Like, that, everyone's scared to compete with them. What the fuck? Don't call them scared. You're scared too. Nameless, okay. Yeah, and you're- Chrome Runner Scores just right. subscribed for three that means Hello Blue. Panic How's your dog or sound doing? is number three, right? Probably, right? Then you probably have four over here, you have five here, and then you have six here, something like this. It's two, three, five versus one, four, six. Something like this, right? Arsha number two. I don't think that that's true. That, that probably cannot be true if this fight was actually close. Okay. Like, what he is saying, he's in sound. What he's saying is that this side was really close to winning, and they could have won. If one and two were on the same team, that would not actually be possible. So, no, that's not fucking true. That's Oh, so wait, Threat wasn't even in the fight, so that's some snake kill, I guess? Is Threat some snake kill or like fucking weaker guild that wasn't actually included because they weren't mentioned before? So, 
sacred ears that you're going to bring three guilds to push this castle. To push, push them out. Okay? Where's the T1 and I have sacred? So, was it a 4v3 or a 3v3, guys? So, this is my console are fucking mentally handicapped, guys. This is like, they can't even tell me convincingly what the actual fight was. People that were literally in the fight can't tell me what the fucking kills were. Um, uh, panic. And who's the other one? I every time I don't know what those faces in. Sound. Right, yeah. So, here's the three guilds. Uh, who's the other one on this side? Um, sacred red Arsha, not in sacred alliance. Wait. So, so, so here, so, so wait, wait a minute. This was going to be the fight. Y'all motherfuckers brought three guilds to beat these two. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're, you're upset that this was going to be the fight and then sacred said, now we're just going to bring Arsha, and then you lost. Y'all were going to zerg them? Y'all were going to fucking actually zerg them and you're mad because they brought an extra guild? You're actually fucking morons. You are such fucking idiots. What are you, but this is Bush League politics. Y'all are fucking morons. Tell me you sacred. Y'all are ditches. You deserve this hell. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? You thought, oh, sacred will just take this zerg and we'll. Um, like, I don't, I, like, he didn't explain any of this. There, there's like, it's like, was this a setup fight? Did, did they just drop out of nowhere? Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Uh, with that being said, I, for sake of competition, enjoyed the fight. Now, here this seems like a really good fight. Like, it sounds like what he is describing here is that they barely lost, but they could have won. That's an amazing fight. Why are we complaining? There should be no complaining at all. I don't give a fuck what the politics were. I don't fucking care what happened in the siege. You got a really good fight. Yeah, you barely lost. It was 100% your fault. That sounds like a problem. All right, yeah, so you missed the point, man. The uh, politics are a problem, my friend, at least for console. Yes, I know for the longest time on console and for PC, politics, good or bad, shaped the PvP community. And now the politics are killing the PvP community, in my personal opinion. Here's why. Actually, I'm not even going to get into all of that. I want to touch a couple of things, and then I'm going to get into overall what's my point when it comes to the politics, right? So you mentioned that you don't have the context, and everything's super fucking just weird to you because you don't know what the fuck's going on so everything looks bad but you never came out to me and actually never cared who the, made the video you never reached out you never got anybody to reach out to me to get into a fucking vc i had to ask for somebody to reach out to you so you would get into a vc with me but it still hasn't happened and at this point i don't know it seems impatient you don't owe me a fucking conversation by the way but i know i seem impatient but this topic really doesn't matter anymore so i'm going to get out my response and just leave it at that i don't want to wait until the fucking end of the week to drop this video because i just was waiting for you to have a conversation with me so when it comes to the context of this fight in particular sacred has been on Calfion for a very 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 long time not just in note wars but in siege 2 uncontested ever since the note war system dropped for console which has been i think a month and some change so at the very least like six weeks straight their alliance has been able to sit on calfion undisturbed for the most part now since last month as you see in the screenshot end game that's me end game i am in game and the reason i'm in game because i the end game for bdo uh, 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 yeah i've been wanting to push calfion for a very very long time unfortunately i can't push calfion by myself i will get fucking destroyed like, I couldn't push Calfion even if Sacred was by themselves. Now, if Threat was in Castle by themselves, easy solo push. Before I even go further with that, I know I'm just going from point to point. You disrespected the fuck out of Threat. Yeah, I just said I could solo push them. That's just me talking shit. No, you was dead ass shit talking them. And the chat was just eating that shit up. They know damn well that without Threat, that fight is an easy win for our alliance. An easy win with our alliance. Threat literally saved Arsha. With that being said, going back to my point. Sacred's alliance was on Calfion. We decided to finally pull up, right? We finally thought with they we had the numbers to go to Calfion and fight Uncapped versus Sacred when they got the biggest gear advantage and obviously uh, a number advantage too. Their members are going to actually pull the fuck up. They don't get fights, so of course when they finally do get a fight, you know they're chomping at the bits. So we pulled up. We placed early on like a Wednesday or a Thursday or some shit like that. Now, we pulled up thinking that we was going to, at the very least, deal with a 3v3. We did not think that threat would be by themselves. So, I know there's probably going to be people, if you react to this, pay attention to your comments. Those niggas are probably calling cap right now. If I know the BDO community, I know that those niggas are going to try to say everything that I say that can make us look at any type of positive light is cap. 
because they're weird like that. They got it's propaganda, man. So with that being said, if you look at the BDO history, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Arsha ended up fighting Nameless in a 1v1 and took Valencia. Instead of going back to our territory, because uh, the Panic went to Balanos and got zerged by a bunch of small guilds, okay? And then Sound was already in Castle. We took it the very first week that the, the shit reset, so we got it for free. And so Sound completely walked off, and they allowed Arsha and Nameless to fight it out, and Arsha took the castle. They won the 1v1. Congrats to Arsha. So... The next week, we could have zerged Arsha out and beat the shit out of them for free. It doesn't matter who they brought as allies. Their alliance has always been the worst uh, ever since Threat left their alliance. But because that's a lame fight, we went to Balanos and Panic went to Valencia with Nameless to fight Arsha's alliance. So we dodged that fight essentially because it was going to be too easy. Why am I telling you this? Am I trying to get you to suck dick? No, Blue. It's because I'm trying to let you know that there's a trend with how we do our fights. Our three guilds rarely place together in Siege unless it's just walk-offs and shit like that. So hopefully you understand the mindset for at least sound. We are not trying to do lane fights. So going into Calpheon, we did not expect a lane fight. We were not going to pull up to Calpheon if we thought that Threat and Sacred were going to be the only guilds that were going to go there. We thought it was going to be Threat, Sacred, Conviction, Ominous, Kama Sylvia, or a mix of those guilds. That is it. So I want to nip that in the bud. Whether it was three of them, four of them, or five of them, we were expecting at the very minimal three because... Saker's just not going to give up Calpheon. That has never been their prerogative. They don't ever give up the uncapped. Ever. I cannot remember for the life of me, Sacred giving up uncapped unless they are going to go right fucking back. And typically on those type of situations, they go and get zerged on a different territory. They let T1 guilds take the uncapped. They come back and destroy all the T1 guilds. That's happened to me when I was a T1 guild. But that's besides the point. So going into the Calpheon fight, just again, want to nail it down in your head. Okay, that shiny, beautiful head that we expected a real fight minus Arsha. We were surprised, a little bit surprised that Arsha was going to be there. The reason I say a little bit, I have to correct myself, is because we had a meeting earlier in the day that Arsha was going to, we heard that Arsha was going to work with Sacred. And we we were already stuck. We couldn't rip. We were fine with it. We were fine with the 3v3. We just had to switch the plan. So it was either going to be the 3v3 with Arsha being with Sacred and Threat. Or it was going to be the 3v5. Both of those are really, really tough fights. Because as you said, it shouldn't have been close with the number one and the number two guild. We know that we had no business being in that fight. That's why it was so great to be in it. Those are the fights that I live for. If I don't, if my fucking ass hairs ain't standing up, nigga, I don't care about the fucking fight. But again, you don't fucking know this, man. And and that's I'm gonna get to that later. I'm gonna get to that later. So let's talk about the fucking politics, okay? Because it got out of the way that Sound wanted a fun fight. Nameless wanted a fun fight. Uh, Panic wanted a fun fight. We all came there with the intention of going against a tough fight and somehow pulling that shit out of our ass and taking that fucking castle. Politics in BDO is just as common as swinging a fucking sword. It's a thing. We all know what it is. I was not crying about the fucking politics in the video for the sake of talking just about the politics. It it's not just the politics, my man. It's what's behind those politics, the intention. I know you said the intention doesn't fucking matter. Yes, it fucking does. Arsha does not hate Nameless. You're not in our community to know the ins and outs. They don't actually fucking hate Nameless. Nameless is actually one of the few guilds that they consistently communicate with. Talking about Arsha and Nameless. They may have their squabbles because Arsha's fucking retarded and they got to start shit with everybody. That's what they do. That's the role that they play. They're the court jester. They just got hands, nigga. But they are clowns. So everybody gets mad at Arsha. I'm the only one that actually hates those niggas to where I would never work with them. I mean, obviously, I can't now. I'm dead. I'm a certified uh, dead BDO nigga. So... Nameless is very cordial with Arsha when all things are said and done. If though, if Nameless reached out to Arsha to start their own alliance, 
Arsha would drop that shit in a heartbeat over sacred. I promise you. I bet my arms, my legs, my tongue, that you could take and kill me, nigga. They would work with Nameless in a heartbeat. Probably not now because I'm saying it. But if it meant going against the rest of the game, they will work with Nameless. They will cut, they will take all the rest of their allies off and work with Nameless. They don't hate Nameless. So yes, what they did with being lame towards Nameless, with trying to cut their ending, yes, it was very, very fucking petty. It was very childish. It was stupid. That was a straw that broke my fucking back. That's all that is. But here's why I quit rather than just saying that it's fucking lame. Arsha cannot sustain being in an alliance with sacred let me do the dr umar repeat that shit again arsha cannot sustain being in an alliance with sacred blue <laughs> they can't sacred team with arsha this one night and people in arsha left guild and sebs had to beg them back i don't have any screenshots of that i just know it's true the people who left the guild i guarantee they have those screenshots before I, unless sebs deleted it sebs is the arsha gm by the way that's what he does he begs people to join their guild so he knows that they cannot keep working with sacred up because their guild does not like sacred they hate sacred more than they hate nameless they just compete with nameless so nameless is the flavor of the month as far as fake hating. But they actually don't like sacred. Now you may say. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that to Nameless. If they're cordial to Nameless. I mean that's the million dollar question Blue. We really don't know. Because the consequences of it is. Fuck sound dying. That's not a consequence to a lot of people. A lot of people are happy. A lot of haters are happy that that has happened. But the real consequence is that. You kill any chance of trying to go to Calpheon. In the future, even if Sound was still alive, going back to Calpheon and fighting Sacred is going to be wishy-washy because we're not going to have any predictability. So the planning and the strategy and all that, which it takes accurate planning and it takes really good strategies to overcome the disadvantages that we put ourselves into as an alliance. I'm not saying that we're heroes. I'm not saying praise us for trying to fight hard fights. That's not what it's really about. I'm just saying that they already have a really good alliance. It's five guilds with the strongest guild at the head, the front. So putting that into perspective, it's not that we're, oh, that's scary. It's too hard. It's not really that, which it is literally too hard, but it's more so that you can't really plan for a fight like that. So you're really killing off uncapped Calpheon content because we know Sacred's not going to move. But before I move on to the next part, I just want to say a lot of Arsha people may jump into your comments or a lot of Arsha people may reply to a video or whatever the case may be and say that, no, we definitely hate Nameless more. No, you're just competing with Nameless more. If you were competing with Sacred, if you went to Calpheon every day and you never ran off of Calpheon, even though you were able to pull really good numbers, if you stuck to your guns and stayed to Calpheon, you would hate Sacred. You hate anybody who either fucks you up or can't fuck you up. And you're competing with them constantly. You talk shit to everybody that you beat. This is just what you do, Arsha. So, yes, if you were competing with Sacred every day and you weren't trying to avoid them, then you would hate them. You would hate them, quote unquote. It's not really hate, you just cry when something doesn't go your way. So, yeah, man, Arsha does not hate Nameless more than they hate Sacred. They may feel like it at this point, and maybe that's why they did what they did. So, if we needed an explanation for why Arsha did it, then sure, I can at least believe that. That they are more mad at Nameless right now than they are with Sacred just because of the fact that they compete with Nameless more. So, that's what they, you know, they cry. So, I can at least believe that. But, essentially, Arsha cannot last with Sacred. And you jumped and you did that anyways. And ultimately, I just got tired of the petty shit. Like, you were doing petty shit to the, a fault. Like, you're actually hurting your guild doing petty shit. Like, you had members leave. Because, of, and it's not like no little shit. Like, those, they actually left and they were planning on staying. Go, I don't know what shit. You probably blackmailed them with a dick pic or something. Like, maybe they showed you some shit that they shouldn't have. I don't know how you got those niggas back. But I know that you said something to get them back. And I know that it was serious enough to leave because those same niggas that we're talking about that left your guild, right? And you guys hate Nameless, right? Those same niggas that left your guild and they end up trying they end up coming back days later, they were applying to Nameless. 
They didn't apply to sacred. We know who you're talking about. There's some people that was in Arsha that left and applied to Nameless over Sacred. Why wouldn't they want to apply to the best guild in the game? Probably because they hate them more. It all adds up in one way or the other. The, the, the lies are going to cut out eventually. You could say that you hate Nameless so you wanted to do this petty shit with Sacred, but that's not what it was. You could say that you did this because you wanted Nameless and Panic to be mad and team y'all in Valencia. When it's never been that, bruh. Y'all beat Nameless in a 1v1 in Siege. That's, that's what's going to make them mad and want to compete with you more. And that hasn't really happened that like that. Because A, they're not pulling numbers to fucking No Wars. And then B, they don't really care like that. They don't care anymore. Nameless does not care that much anymore. So you literally did that weird shit for no reason. And I got tired of it and I quit. That's really what it boils down to. Why I'm seen as a crybaby for that is insane. I've been dealing with shit like this for years. This is, like I said, the straw that broke my back. I've been dealing with it for a long time. The game's not good enough to be dealing with it. It's too childish. I just sat and thought, I was like, wow, this is lame and boring. Let me move on to something else. Lame actually is lame, boring, and unfortunate because we're not going to get the fight. The fight... With the good that it caused was the fight, but you're not capable of doing it again. That was a once in a lifetime. We're not going to get that type of shit for a very long time until your guild gets mad at Nameless again, or Panic again, or Sound again, to where the temporary truce with Sacred is going to outweigh, you know, the bullshit with uh, your people leaving. And we know that's not a common thing because you don't actually hate anybody really you, you claim you don't even hate sound so i don't know if i can make that any more clear and how all of this shit connects if you do not understand you you don't have to agree with me but if you can't even understand where i'm coming from you're retarded you're actually fucking stupid video about maybe i should have prefaced the first video by this and i do think i mentioned it it's not about arsha it's definitely not about sacred i don't know how you misinterpreted anything i said to me hating on sacred again i've always had a cordial relationship with sacred this is not a hidden thing in the bdo community sacred spared us from lock back when locking out was a thing in no wars we caught sacred two days in a row we didn't get locked out i guarantee you if sacred really put their minds to it they could lock us out i didn't have to beg I didn't have to, I was just like, I was trolling, I was just laughing, I'm like, well, it's over, we're about to get destroyed. I didn't have to ask, I didn't have to beg or anything like that, he just said we're not going to lock you out. Sacred has always had a good relationship with Sound, even though we compete, which kind of shatters the whole point that the only way you can compete is if you hate each other, by the way. We did non-setup fights with them without being bitches towards one another, and, and kids towards one another, we just played the fucking game nameless may hate sacred i don't buy into that shit i just compete with sacred that's all it is so this idea i don't know why your chat bought into it like again this is a well-known thing this is no secret and the screenshots i showed in that video i'm not even gonna show it again i want you to look back uh, i know you don't give a fuck blue but fuck if you do for some odd reason care you look back into that video, you can see the screenshots themselves. Jay, when when Sebs or jumps, he's in the Discord as jumps, I think. If when he says, go talk to your boy Jay, Jay is the GM of Sacred. Not the Jay that you know, not the Asian. We're talking about Jay from Sacred, the GM, the current GM. All right. He literally told me because they were doing set of fights. And they kept crying. There was like a whole saga of Arsha crying that I was in communic. I communicated with Sacred. They didn't even want me communicating with them. They always had some slick shit to say. And you can see in one of the screenshots, I got tired of that bullshit. He said, hey, why don't you just go ask your boy Jay randomly out of fucking nowhere. And I said, you keep fucking playing with me. I'm going to turn this fucking 4v3 or whatever the fight was into a 4v4. And they're going to be on our fucking team. That's the context that you were never supposed to know about. It doesn't like it, it that is that's why it's confusing to you, bro. It's just so let me go to you, man. Let's talk about your mistakes. You jumped into some shit that you shouldn't have jumped into. 
You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have no idea what the fuck's going on. And once you should have asked the people who sent you the message what the context was. And then you can discern whether they were bullshitting. Where it's like, oh, look at this this paragon of humanity, uh, Akai. He's fucking talking all this shit. Please worship him on stream. If they said that shit, you know, not to really, you shouldn't even react to it at that point. And then if they also said, look at this dumbass bitch crying, go make fun of him on stream. At that point, you do react because that's good, you know, it's good content, right? But uh, at least at the back of your head, you know it's not fucking true. Obviously, the people are sending you to have a bias. You're, you're supposed to discern that. But instead of asking for more context when you got the message, maybe you're a busy man. You're a busy man. I get it. It's not even maybe. I know you're a busy man. You had no shot of really understanding. And a lot of it's your own fault. It's not my fault for not explaining it because everybody knows those screenshots for the most part. And even the new people who are totally disconnected and they're coming into the siege scene and, and, and I'm going to get to that a little bit later. But with those people, they could just look at the general gist and understand the warning that I'm giving them about not being bitch made, not being lame as shit. That's, and that's what I'm going to end on. I'm going to end on this. That's what the point of my video was for. It wasn't to shit on Arsha. I hate Arsha. I'm going to take every opportunity to shit on them. So, yes, I use them as my primary example. There's other examples I could have went on. Nobody's perfect in the top five. Top six. Threats, threats a hell of a gill when it comes to being fucking dumb as shit. And being toxic and not being good for the community. Hell, that Discord that fucking Arsha set up was literally, the rules were, no lockouts. Threat was the first guild to break it and they kept breaking. They didn't give a fuck. I have a no war that's like one minute long. That is us locking Thread out after like a, a month or two of them locking out small guilds and trolling them and trying to sap their, doing all types of bullshit. And you could hear how hype I was because I felt like they deserved that shit. So, so Thread, that's not no innocent guild either. They're not no little ass baby guild. They're a bitch made guild. I just don't fucking care about them the way that I hate Arsha. But they're they're pretty bad for the community. But I know I'm shitting on Threat. I'm shitting on Arsha. Uh, uh, Sacred's bad. Arsha's bad. Nameless bad. Panic bad. Sound bad. Threat bad. Everybody else needs to sit on the side. Wait till those six guilds die. And then they, the, the community can heal. Now, there are guilds that's less bad than one another. But at that point, it's just semantics. You're going to pick your side and you're going to die on that hill, no matter who's right or wrong. Obviously, I think that we're less wrong than other guilds, but I mean, I have literally ruined content just out of being petty, meaning that I don't want to make, I don't want to do a 2v2. I'm pretty sure Nameless and Panic would agree to do a 2v2 if I agree with Arsha to do it on that screenshot. I purposely ruined the fucking content out of my fucking disgust and hate for that guild. That's not good for the community. That is factually bad. I'm not going to say factually. This is my opinion. But that's fucking bad. So I'm throwing myself under the bus too. It's nobody's fucking perfect. I mean hell. Even some of the guilds I didn't mention. Are not perfect either. But they're not as bad as us. Nameless and Panic. Those are my guys. So I'm not going to give my negative opinion on them. But there's some negativity I feel towards them as well. They're not perfect. Nobody's perfect, bro. We're humans running fucking guilds. So, at the end of the day, um, the warning is to not be like us. Change the culture. Be better. Do not the... I ain't gonna say the opposite. We still do some good things. Like I, I showed earlier, we chase after fights. We were about our shit. But... You take upon that and improve that side of it. And in the bad that we do, you completely fucking get rid of it. And you will have a thriving community. That's my way of thinking. That's how you don't have to agree. Blue, you don't have to agree. You could think it's just straight toxicity. That's the only way you can have a thriving PvP community. My nigga, your community is fucking dead too. And you got more guilds. We don't have enough guilds to be doing that bullshit. And our shit is going to die because of it. You have more guilds in your fucking community. And your shit's dead. So what the fuck does that tell you? I think my way would possibly work. I think it's worth trying. But uh, again, certified BDO dead nigga. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I don't know how the fuck you made it this far as just yapping. Maybe you really do. <laughs> hey, 
Um, there's a lot that I could have said. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of points, but it is what it is. Uh, for the BDO community, if you, for whatever reason, think that I don't got that shit on me when I'm talking about my, my proof, my evidence, cause I know y'all just love the shit on everything that I say. I'm always in battles with y'all in the fucking comment section because y'all, y'all just cannot see rhyme or reason. Uh, I can make a video exposing this shit. I could really throw all of this shit out. I got everything, nigga. I just choose not to do it because it doesn't matter anymore. I've been wanting to make community content. But when I stopped caring about the game, I threw all that shit, I threw all that effort away. I regret it now, seeing the fucking, seeing how this shit got out of proportion. I regret it. But I, I will literally, as a send-off, a final send-off, my final video, and I'll just shut up whatever, anybody who talks to me about BDO on YouTube, I'm just blocking them ban them from talking on my channel i can really do that but i will literally leave off of a video shutting everybody the fuck up every little girl that's crying about the whole t1 shit and all of that i will kill that shit like share and subscribe man y'all have a good night